hi guys welcome back to my channel quite a bit my channel. so for today's video we're going to be reacting to chris Brown speaks on graduation situation if you guys don't know cj graduated and chris was not apparently aware of the graduation nor the family and essay of mom went on vacation with someone else okay but before we get started you guys already know the drill don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below it is free do not forget to follow me on my social media platform twitter snapchat tiktok the links will be in the description box down below for your convenience and yeah i'm super excited because it's been a while that i haven't um done any uh, reaction video based on youtubers my past ones were more um celebrities so i'm excited and yeah let's get started sc have been quiet for a while now we know previously there was a lot of back and forth on instagram and twitter now that silence has just been broken after sc went on to her instagram and posted a post and then armand went on a twitter rant now sc posted if you ask someone to do something with you over and over and over again and they turn around and do it with someone else please understand your place now apparently essie was upset that armand went to puerto rico with senia and trey after she's been asking him to go on vacation with her so armand did tweet last month that he would be spending his birthday with his daughter then he'll be off to an island so if you guys don't know essie has been begging armand to go on vacations with her for her birthday and things like that and it seems like it never happened so i'm guessing after she got upset with him after he went to Puerto Rico with Trey and Senia, he went on a Twitter rant. So he says, I'm so done with it all, with a broken heart. Then he... Let me um, first address the fact that <clears throat> a lot of these YouTube couples, why do they feel the need to share? I understand that we knew them on social media, right? But why do they feel the need to share their problems after the breakup? Like, can't you guys just break up and keep it pushing like just say we broken up and that's it it's always drama that comes along i don't know why is it a cloud what is it he also tweets i will never allow myself to ever show another human being i love them a cupid f you and love now this is what i am not understanding it seems like essie got exactly what she wanted she wanted to move back to the bay area to be with her family now she's there and she's still not happy armand isn't obligated to go on vacation with you just because you are his baby's mother i mean you guys aren't even together anymore so that's just my opinion on that now let's get on to this next topic with chris sales and queen nice Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm already laughing before I even watch this because it has just been crazy. And I, I didn't think I was going to react to any of this, but since he finally, you know, Chris finally spoke about it, I'm like, okay, let me say something, okay? So let's watch. We all know Chris has been keeping quiet about the whole graduation situation. He has. It has been going back and forth with Tina, um, Quinn's sister, Clarence, um, uh, Quinn's mother everybody else but Chris so he has been doing pretty good but for some reason um the past um videos I've watched Clarence had a lot to say about Chris like Chris's name was in his mouth so let me see if he's gonna say something about Clarence too well just yesterday he went onto his YouTube channel to explain himself and why he's staying out of the drama to be a new a better version of me you know not only for me but for my son you know um I haven't been, you know, entertaining anything, as you guys know, because to the simple fact that I feel like me as a person, I just feel like I don't need to be entertaining any of that stuff no more. You know, I want to I wanna possibly, possibly be in the same room as my son's mother, you know, so... For the sake of my son, because I know he would love to see that. If you guys want to see that full video and everything that he had to say, head over to his channel so you can check that out. But I must say that I am very proud of Chris and his... That's what I was going to say. I'm really proud of him. I, I'm really... I hope this will continue this way. I hope it's just not for the moment. But I'm very proud of him. That's really my share of him. 
progression. Seems like he's really trying to change this time to be there for his son, which is awesome because that is what it's all about. Eventually, these three are going to have to be in the same room together. You're going to have more graduations. If you want to have birthday parties, later on you're going to have weddings. So it's good that Chris is finally seeing this and I'm hoping that he apologized to Queen for calling her out of her name. Now let's get on to the next topic with Jordan and Sierra. Now if you guys did not know, these two just recently announced that they are expecting a child. So congratulations to them. But these two have had a really toxic relationship in the past. Now a lot of people were stating when they announced their pregnancy that they hope that this has stopped and they're not back and forth. Well, what people were hoping did not come true because yet again, Jordan went on to Instagram to express the way he feels about Sierra. And let's just say it wasn't good. He says, your baby mama can be your worst enemy. This B word is dumb. I lost everything trying to do this dumb A-ish. F the YouTube, everything. Now he did state F YouTube and everything. So I don't know if they planned on having this baby for YouTube views or what, but I hope. I hope they weren't trying to have the baby just for the views. I just hope they weren't. Wow. I hope that that was not the case because they already had a really rocky relationship and it would be yet another couple that had a baby and broke up, had a baby for YouTube and broke up. Just not good all the way around. Oh, oh. It's just a routine at this point. Like, get together and broke up, have a baby and broke up, get married, get divorced. That's how most of these YouTube couples turn out to be. If you guys realize, if you guys watch me from back, back when, I used to be here um, with my husband. He was like my boyfriend at the time, then he became my fiance. Y'all saw all that on YouTube, then I completely stopped. I said, let me just get over something else because eventually it becomes, you know, problematic to be on YouTube with your partner most of the time. On to the next topic with Nair and Jalen. Now, Nair did go on to Instagram and state that she left me. Then he goes on and reposts a song of Juice World. He tags Jalen and Jalen says, boy, F you. So I'm not sure how long this will last, but seems like they're going through some things right now and they are broken up right now or she left him. Now let's get on to the next couple that had a recent breakup. Pretty Boy Fredo and Chris. Now she did go onto her YouTube channel and she stated underneath a comment, we aren't together anymore, but this video is a beautiful memory that I wanted to share with you all. So seems like Fredo and his new boo are no longer together either. Now I'm not sure because Fredo posted a video of him in a shower and someone washing his hair. So does he have a new thing or what? Well, guys, even after this breakup, Fredo is still going through it with Jasmine. Not sure she knows about the breakup as of now, but he did post, what kind of mom is okay with your child not seeing their father? Now, I'm guessing Jasmine is pretty okay with it, seeing that he hasn't seen Ava or talked to her in months. Now, he's saying the old me would have exploded with anger by now. I haven't seen Ava in God knows how long. Nothing justifies this at all. This isn't okay to any parent that thinks it's okay. Imagine if the tables were turned. Now, he also stated a lot of other things that I am going to post on the screen for you guys to read. He also posted a text message thread between Jasmine and himself. And I'm going to post that as well. I'm not going to read it out this time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to post it, let you guys read it, pause, so you can have however long you want to read it. But let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. Because pretty much Jasmine stated, like, look, I'll make sure she's available between 
four and six so she can speak with you on the phone or you can FaceTime her. So yeah, I have to agree with Fredo on this one. It's just totally crazy what Jasmine is doing and thinking it's okay. I actually can't believe that Jasmine is doing it. She seems like such a good mother that she would want her child to have her father in her life. But I don't know exactly what Jasmine has against Fredo. Yeah, maybe it's just deeper than what we know, you know? Maybe something else happened. At this moment, he's stating that Jasmine doesn't want Ava in New York. She's already been in New York before, so I'm thinking it's because his new girlfriend does live in New York. Probably. But I'm like, Fredo, if you want to see your daughter that bad, then at this point, just go back to Florida so you can see her. But that's just my opinion. As always, I want to know what you guys think about everything down in the comment section below. So these are the messages. But yes, guys, I also want to know what you guys think down below. Like, it's just too much. These YouTube couples have all, like like they always have something going on if it's not them breaking up or divorcing there's always something going on or the fake pranks all right you guys that's the end of today's video let me know what you guys think of what chris said um about the graduation situation about um essie being upset that Armand went on vacation with someone else pretty well fredo complaining about not being able to see his child because of his baby mama let me know what you guys think about all that in the comment section down below and do not forget to subscribe once again it is free you also motivate me to push more videos like this and i'll catch you guys on my next one bye guys